Topic number two today. By the way, we didn't acknowledge this on the show. I asked you if you wanted to know any of the topics today, and you said no. So once again, you're coming in blind to all three of these. Uh, I would like to reflect a little bit on the transfer portal window that has already occurred this offseason. And I want you to give me your current transfer All-American team. So five guys that have already picked their new destinations that uh, if transfer awards were given out next season, first team all transfer, who would be the first team transfer all Americans? Okay. So am I saying just like currently right now, am I projecting like what they do next season? It's what they do next season. Like what they who, do next season. Yeah. Okay. Cause it, so you're, you could take guys you think are going to make big jumps that haven't exactly done that, but I want guys that have picked a new school already that are okay. on your next season transfer all American teams. Okay. Uh, and you're going to do the same, right? Yeah, I have five or, names. Or, or, I, are we coming up together? I have five names. Uh, I can go first if you want to go second here. I do want to go second, but can, before I do that, can I ask you this? How would you do it positionally? Or did you just pick the five best guys? I have three guards, a forward, and a center. Okay. Yeah, you go first. Okay. Uh, my first member of my transfer All-American team and my – Transfer player of the year for next season should be no surprise. It's Aiden Mahaney at UConn. I'm going to victory lap the world so hard when Aiden mm-hmm. Mahaney is like an 18 a game scorer and he's Big East player of the year. And I'm like, I tried to tell you that white boy had some shit to him. He's special. He's a perfect fit with Hurley. He's going to be the best player on UConn. And if you're the best player on UConn, you're an All American. Uh, my second transfer All American is I think the most talented player on paper in the portal. John L. Davis at Arkansas. Cal has not had a guard this good as a vet in a long time. He's had talent come in. He has not had a guy who's played college as long as John L. that he can trust from a veteran leadership standpoint. Uh, That's John L. He's going to be a stud. He should be a first-team All-SEC player. He's first-team All-Transfer All-American. My third guard is a guy who I expect to make a little bit of a jump. Malik Mack at Georgetown. I think he's going to be featured. I think Malik Mack is that good. And I think Ed Cooley is going to have him one here. I think uh, first team all Big East is absolutely in the cards if Georgetown can win enough games. To my front court on my All-American team for the transfers, I have Trey Townsend at Arizona. I think a lot's going to be asked of Townsend, as I've alluded to in the past. I think he could be used as a playmaker quite a bit, especially if Jaden Bradley is in his backcourt. Um, I think you're going to see like point forward, really versatile guy playing off of Crevis. It's just going to work. And Tommy Lloyd in that up-tempo system, he's going to put up prolific numbers. And uh, from one Arizona big to an Arizona outgoing big, I think Umar Balo demands a spot as the center on this team. He was just the best center that hit the portal. Uh, I think he's a walking double-double. We'll average a double-double at Indiana. And you can't really argue that he is that caliber of player. So my transfer All-American team, Aiden Mahaney, John L. Davis, Malik Mack, Trey Townsend, Umar Balo. I like that. I like that lineup a lot. Um, I, I I I did have to make one last adjustment. I don't want you to think that I changed it. I did make a mistake. I I didn't do it. I put a non-committed player. Uh, okay. I really wanted Kadari Richmond in my five. <laughs> um, I really wanted him. But I did have some crossover with you. I had Nellie Davis on my team as well. I just think he's going to go crazy at Arkansas. Um, at the second guard spot, I have Jeremy Roach. Uh, I think that Jeremy Roach is going to excel at Baylor. And I am really banking on chip on the shoulder F you John Shire year out of him. Uh, and I think he's going to be really good in that Baylor system. Third, I think you could guess if you know me well enough. Greg, do you want to take one quick guess? Uh, is it a guard? It's a wing. Wing guard. I don't I'm, know. I don't I'm think stand, I know you well I, enough. I stand for this dude a lot. I don't know. Tremont Mark. Oh yeah. yeah. Tremont Mark. Yeah. I like I I think he's I think that he's been productive at every stop that he's been at. Um I think that on an Arkansas team that was a shit show, he was consistent in his effort and play. Um, when healthy, I think he did a lot for that team. So, uh, I, I really like Tremont Mark. I think he's going to be really good at Texas. I have Trey Townsend at my four for the reasons that you said, I think that he's going to be great in that Arizona system and he's going to put up some big numbers. 
at my five spot, I did go back and forth as I was thinking about it. Um, Umar Balo was my pick, but I'm going to go a different route on this one. I'm going to go Jonas Adu as my five. You think Adu is better than Balo? I do think that Adu is better than Balo, yeah. That one's crazy to me. I mean, I think I, guess... Adu, I think I just think Adu has a little bit more to his game than Balo does. Okay, Balo's so overpowering to me. He doesn't need anything else to his game. It's like a one on one force in the sport right now. That's very true. All right. Okay, you feel good about this? I don't want Big Z to be my center, but like I know that's not who I should pick. I mean, you could. Who was your guards again? It was Mahaney and Davis. Mahaney, Davis, Mac, Towns, and Balo. I do really like your team, I must say. I like my team more. How many of these do you think we'll just miss on? Like at the end of next season when we go back and say, here's the transfer all Americans. I think you can pencil in Nellie Davis and Trey Townsend right now. I would say Balo too. I think Mahaney and Mac are the two I could be wrong about. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you Balo too. Is there any part of you that scares you with Balo whatsoever? No. You just think, like, if he is such a dominating force, why is he just, like, a 10 and 10 guy, 12 and 10? Um, Is that an opportunity thing? Like, they need to throw on the ball more, or he needs to stay on the floor more? Or I mean, what? Two, two like, years... if he is just this dominating force, why is he putting up 10 and 10? Two years ago, Tubelis was the featured guy. Last year, Caleb Love took everything. Got you. <laughs> But there, but there is a world where Balo doesn't look that doesn't look like what you think he should as a feature guy, right? Or you think it's a no brainer? I don't think there's a world where Balo averages less than ten and ten, and that alone deserves a spot on this team. Okay. Yeah, it's not about upside. His floor is like twelve and ten. Got you. All right. Okay. 